Oh yeah, let's get a closer look. So when I handle these, I like to be very, very careful. I don't want to get my fingers all over them. Plus the blade is just super sharp. These are packed and handmade in Sekai City, Japan. That is the home of the world's best knives if you like the Japanese style. Uh, so I'm going to touch a few more points for you here. Uh, first of all, this knife is 64 layers. It's 32 on each side clad around a center core of super steel. And wow, I'm talking razor, razor edge. There's a ton of information and history. Uh, I believe it goes back like 800 years. So many generations. Wow. Really, really cool. So look at those layers. Uh-huh. Really nice, really cool. Look at that polished edge. Wow. And uh, both sides are really nice. This knife's got a few other really cool things going on. Uh, yeah, so we've got a full tang, ends up back here in the handle. We've got rivets, we've got a layered pack of wood. It's basically like a plywood. You can hit this with a hammer, it will bounce off. So it's basically indestructible. Cool little knife. Now you're wondering if it's sharp, so we got to do a little test here. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five layers of paper. I'll show you five layers of paper real quick. It just zips right through, nothing to it. But let's go from there and fold it in half. Now I've got 10 layers of paper right there. Yeah, I don't think your knives are this sharp. Uh, could you get this knife sharper? Sure. Most importantly, you wanna maintain the edge, take care of the edge. So with that, I'm gonna move on to the next knife. Of course, you can score these at your sponsor right there. Be right back. Wow, the Jambus Cucina Elegante, handcrafted with the finest American hardwoods, food service grade stainless steel. The Elegante features inch and a half thick butcher block, available in several sizes and with several options. Call your sponsor and save money. Ask for a discount. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Here's a thicker one. This is end grain rock maple. The two treatments recommended are designed for working professional chef's kitchens. There's a reason. Mystery oil is a food safe, ultra pure grade mineral oil. I really like it. Yeah, it's good stuff. And uh, that's where I get it right there. Uh huh. Uh, it's used in combination normally with the board cream. Board cream is a natural moisturizer which seals out the elements and it's primarily beeswax. I get it right there. Uh, beeswax, let's see. Unbleached beeswax and food grade mineral oil. So these are the two products that we use and we apply them monthly, generously and uh, you're going to learn more about that in just a moment. So the mystery oil is applied in a circular motion. So you use an applicator or a plastic bag, work it in in a circular motion, do this monthly, and then let it dry overnight as preferred, and you can repeat. After it dries, you warm this in a bowl of water and apply just a few small dabs and wow, it's going to be good. That is a safe cutting board. Every knife should be paired with a butcher block throughout the kitchen. Uh -huh. Proper maintenance should be applied every month.
finish loaves. I love butcher block. Yeah. This is end grain maple. You can see it's ready for some more oil. This is edge grain cherry. It's been oiled once and then it's been sealed at the factory. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, this one here, this is edge grain maple. So different looks and different uh, sizes, different thicknesses. Edge grain has certain applications, end grain has certain applications. They're all on sale at your sponsor right there. In stock and quick shipping, you're gonna love it. By the way, this is an authorized dealer with over 50 years of combined experience in butcher block. So I suggest you uh, shop with the experts. Get the best the first time. That's my motto. Get the best the first time Ready to apply mystery oil. Give it a shake little bit of uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil, some other good stuff in here. I like it. Uh, first application, just like this. Swirl motion. Yeah. Okay, once you got the swirl motion down, plastic bag. Why? Because it's recyclable and it's not flammable. Uh, I would not use a uh, cloth. It'll absorb too much and it becomes flammable. Oh, look at that block. Really, really nice. You can see all the hard work has paid off just with the look and the color. Oh, yeah. If you need one of these blocks, contact your sponsor if you need the butcher block treatment. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. I've got this fresh basil. It's looking really, really nice there. I've got a razor sharp knife. You're wondering just how sharp this is, right? Yeah. Always good to start with a very sharp knife. 